You know, no pain, no gain. And that's what the New Americans Voters Association has always known. You know, we are we're immigrants. Some people would say that we're not real Americans. I always say, you know, we all chose. We weren't born Americans, but we chose to be American. We made a conscious decision. We took a, uh, an, an oath, and we became American citizens, and now we're voting. We're voting, and we're also electing people to office. You know, Dilip and the whole Nava crew, Rokea, all the board members and officers. I don't know how many years you guys been toiling. Two decades. A long time now, almost 20 years of putting our communities on the map, showing people that, you know, we may be immigrants, but we know our rights, and we know what to do to secure more rights. We're not looking for special treatment. We want equal treatment, equal protection, equal opportunities. And that's what new, the New American Voters Association has always been about. I'm so honored to join our great district attorney, Melinda Katz. Somebody I've known for so long. I worked on her congressional campaign a long time ago. I didn't work on her uh, city council campaign as much because I was doing the same thing, but we, we entered the city council at the same time. Yes. 22 years ago, Melinda, that was at that election. Melinda can personally attest to the fact that I used to have a full head of hair. <laughs> That's how long I've known her. <laughs> and, and to be, what's that? I don't know what that is. Right? So, um, Melinda Katz is uh, she is our DA. She's running for re-election, uh, and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that she gets re-elected. Because uh, you know, it, it has actually it's probably been the most difficult few years it could have been for any district attorney anywhere. Uh, a great deal of upheaval, not only here in New York but nationally. And Melinda has, has, you know, has, has walked the fine line. Sometimes it is a fine line between justice and injustice. And she has served our communities extremely well. So uh, we need her reelected to Queens District Attorney. Let's give a hand for Melinda Katz. And Roxanne Persaud, I don't know, what can I say about her? She was a child prodigy. And she is the tie enforcer in the New York State Senate. She'll call out anybody who doesn't have a tie. Rox, I used to be the only one that you call out, not anymore. Not Now there's several people you have to call out. All right? I mean, there was an article on the other day. The ties are kind of like with, I don't even know what a tie is. It's, it's a thing of the past. Come on. No offense to anybody wearing ties here. But as you can see, Roxanne, there aren't actually that many people wearing ties. Right? Anyway, uh, Roxanne has been a terrific colleague for me in the state senate. We're always championing legislation and issues that are important to new Americans as we come from new American fam families and communities ourselves. So great to see you. Great to see all of our uh, other leaders. My former colleague in the city council, Elizabeth Crowley. Always good to see you, Liz. Harry Shukla. Harry's everywhere. I, can, I can't get rid of him. This guy's been... <laughs> I've known him for 25 years with friends, and he still has all his hair. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> and of course, Dilipnath, who, uh, you know, has uh, has gone out on his own ventures in the past and uh, really, uh, you know, became a, a true team player here in Queens and has continued to push this New American Voters Association in a way that empowers uh, the new American communities, but also empowers all of Queens. So, Dilip. Thank you for everything you do. I gotta give a shout out to our next civil court judge in Queens, Evelyn Gong. And uh, you know, maybe our uh, our next city council member in Northeast Queens, Christopher Bay. Chris, you can't see her, but the Tamster is what I call Tamara Ashra. She's like going <laughs> That's just what she's doing, right behind you. 
So anyway, uh, great to see everybody. I'm sorry if I forgot to shout out anybody, but uh, thank you very much. I got to shout out Jeannie Persaud. Otherwise, she'll have my head later. And uh, anyway, let's get to work. We've got less than three months to the Democratic primary. We've got a tremendous amount of work ahead of us. Just not, not just for this year, but for future years as well. And Janelle, always good to see you, brother. Thanks for letting us use your space. Thanks.